Hi guys, my name is Joe Guy of Mint Andrea in Vienna. Welcome to this new video. Today I would like to show you that Nikon SP rangefinder camera on my table here, including its uh, maker's box, which is kind of rare, so it's like a small unboxing video here as well. Uh, you don't see them very often, especially in this condition. What's quite interesting here is that uh, it still has part of that uh, plastic foil which surrounded uh, the box initially is is still present not a lot but it still is and that's sometimes quite appealing to collectors so it's as as original and as complete as we could get it so let's have a look inside of that uh, special box as you can see there are a few more things than just the camera in the box, which I'll present to you right now. Um, there is a original Nippon Kogaku silica gel bag within that uh, box. There is the original strap extension, which obviously has never been used and also comes in the original plastic bag with that uh, Nippon Kogaku logo. Then obviously the camera with its uh, letter case, the original instruction book and the GCII passed tag of the quality control. So let's have a look at the camera. The camera is in the beautiful leather case with the screw embossed logo on the back and surprise surprise it's a black paint Nikon SP. This camera comes with the matching black 5cm Nikon f2 not f1.4 which is uh, most commonly seen on those cameras. As you can see, this is a really clean model here. Um, there are no, or almost no signs of use on the camera. It has been used very little, uh, has been well taken care of. And of course, it's all original black paint. There are many repaints out there. There are a lot of fake cameras out there. Um, a good indication is, of course, uh, the logo on the camera. If it's a flat, quite flat uh, paint finish, you can feel that with your fingernail or, or fingertip uh, quite well. Uh, a good indication are always uh, the painted dots on the camera. If they're too shiny, too new, uh, etc., it's a good indication the camera has been refurbished or was a chrome camera which has been repainted in black paint finish. So the Nikon SP was, uh, after the Nikon 1, I would say the most successful Nikon rangefinder camera or a milestone, I would say. Uh, the camera incorporates a frame finder with uh, four frame lines. 50, 85, 105 and 135 and has a separate viewfinder next to the rangefinder window uh, with uh, parallax indication frame lines for 28 and 35 millimeter frame lines. So there are six frame lines incorporated and which makes it a very practical camera as well. The camera was introduced in 1957 so Nikon had to react um, to the Leica, to the introduction of the Leica M3, which was introduced in 1954. Obviously, uh, within Japan, there was the biggest competition, uh, the rivalry to Canon, and so Nikon had to improve uh, the camera after the Nikon S2, which only um, had the 50 mm frame lines uh, incorporated in, in the camera, and for every other focal length, you had to use 
uh, external viewfinders which you put into the accessory shoe here. The camera comes from an official batch of uh, black paint cameras which you can see most of in uh, the complete Nikon rangefinder system book of uh, Robert Rotoloni which is an extremely comprehensive uh, work of art I would say with a lot of information and you should definitely have a look at that book as well if you're uh, into Nikon and Nikon rangefinder cameras it's, uh, it's a must have I would say the camera is from roughly I would say 1960 and has already the titanium foil shutter rather than uh, and the cloth shutter curtain which was done until serial number 6214 uh, where they changed from the cloth shutter to the titanium foil shutter um, they did it at the same time uh, with the Nikon F which was introduced in 1959 so the camera the, the Nikon SP and the Nikon F share some parts here. Um, the, the, the shutter material, I would say, the self timer and, and a few other features, the wine lever, for example. So there is uh, a small mix here with, with the production of the Nikon F. Um, what's also very nice on the Nikon SP. Nikon officially introduced uh, the motor winder, the S36 motor drive, uh, which I can show you on another camera I brought with me here today, just to compare it with the model here. And it's still very compact in size compared to a Nikon F with the motor drive. Here is an extremely early uh, Nikon SP overall and a very early black paint Nikon SP, also fully original. As you might see here, the camera serial number is 620076. It started with a serial number 1, of course, so this is the 76th. Nikon SP and also extremely early black paint camera. There are a few differences here as you can see on the self timer lever for example and of course this one shows the S36 motor drive which had to be matched to the camera specifically and the camera had to receive the plate with the motor drive in the base plate which could be exchanged which takes the pin of uh, the motor drive here so there had to be a little work to do from Nikon to match the camera and the motor drive here motor drive is also very early and matches matches the camera so there is a great possibility this uh, actually came came together as I said. Both cameras were with us. They unfortunately or fortunately already sold with and are with a collector already and we're glad they got these beautiful pieces and appreciate them and they went to good homes in a in a nice collection and yeah, maybe we'll see them again one day. Um, that's it for now, I would say. Enjoy these uh, images of those two beautiful cameras. Um, if you like our videos, please share, like and subscribe as you do and help us grow. And see you next time. Thank you. Take care. Bye.